Over the past year, we've done several stories on teenagers making the transition from school to adult life. We met some of them where the transition was easy, but a lot of young people are just stuck in a rut, doing things they don't want to do. Tanya caught up with a young woman who persevered with her dream and finally has her dream job. Want some coffee? Yes, please. 21 year old Anna Callan is the youngest of six and lives with her parents in their inner city apartment. Sure, it's convenient. But the truth is, Anna would quite like her own place. She hasn't been able to take that next step towards independence because although she left school two and a half years ago, she's only just managed to secure a full-time job. Anna, how does it feel to be going off to a job that you really enjoy? Really good, mm -hmm. yeah, really good. OK, babe, I'll see you later. Bye. The uh, fact that I'll she now has to get up and out the door for work is a dream come true, especially as she's in a job she loves. Okay. See you, hon. Have a good day. Yeah. You got your key? Yeah, cool. I do. And, and how does it feel having this full-time job now? It's so good. It's really tiring, but I kind of figure everybody else gets tired doing their work, so... I'm just like everyone else. I'm not bored. I've always got something to do. Anna reckons she's not a morning person. That just reinforces how enthusiastic she is about going to work. Anna started working at a satellite class at Carlson here at Oranga Primary one day a week and slowly built up to five. She helps with maths, fitness, reading and feeding of the seven students in the class. Get ready. Ready, go. One. Three. What do you love about the job? Seeing like when the kids do something new or in general oh, just the yeah. look on their face, oh. like how excited they get and right. when they've achieved something, it's really nice. Four, five. Oh. Michael Tonga has five hexagons. The oh, yeah. people that I work with, so good having you people that you get along with. And how did the kids react to the wheelchair? They looked a bit, you know, curiously. They, I imagine they probably just thought I was one of them because they're all in wheelchairs as well. The search for a job yeah. was a long, frustrating exercise. Uh, other, Anna knew she wanted to work with children or in fashion. She wanted to work. All she needed was someone to open a door for her. Anna was proactive in her job that. hunting. Better she sent her CV out to lots of people, exploring all possibilities. She boldly promoted her capabilities, but it seemed potential employers couldn't see past her wheelchair. I always look at what I can do, um, but I could see in other people's faces that they were like, oh, she won't be able to do this, that, the other thing, whereas I go looking for a job going, I will be able to do that, that, that. I mean, I would not go for a job like driving a tractor or being a trapeze artist because I know I can't do it. But clothes stores, there is so much that's low down and children, they're low down anyway. And what are you have, Kate, they're, at, they're sitting at tables a lot of the time. Um, so I practically knew that I could do it. And if there was something that I couldn't do, I just asked for help because everybody does. Yeah, more? No. no. Anna consulted a couple of agencies, but she felt they didn't really listen to what she wanted Can to I do. Take this off? Instead, they offered what she yeah. reckons were easy yeah. options for them. It was mainly telemarketing, um, and if they mentioned sort of jobs that they had going, it was a lot of office work. People kind of thought, oh, office job, telephone. Just really basic things. Yeah, I've got a brain and I'm very smart and I use it all the time. So, and I just like to be physical and um, although I don't like the cold, I do like to be outside and doing stuff rather than compact in a little office. Tanya. It took just one good employment consultant Hi. to turn Anna's hey. life around. Hi. Belinda Cooney yeah. listened to Anna and took on board her passion for fashion and children. How are you? Good. 
Yeah. good? Yeah, definitely. Belinda also understood loud and clear that working in an office wasn't a job Anna would find fulfilling. I find like really hard to get my head around. She kind of got who Anna is. And I think if there was a Belinda for everybody out there who's looking for a job, we'd have virtually no unemployment whatsoever. How hard is it and what do you do to match a career option to someone's passion? Well, yeah, once we've listened to you know, what they would like to do, we then go out and find prospective employers and talk to them about, you know, we have this client that, or candidate who's quite keen on working in this industry. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but, you know, we sort of talk through it with them. And um, quite often, more than not, they will offer them a work trial. The one thing Belinda did was truly respect Anna's goals. I listen, probably. I probably, that would be the best, or well, the biggest thing I can do, yeah, and listen and hope that I can help them as best as I can. Yeah. Caitlin, would you like me when Anna started working at Carlson's school, would it was just for one day a week. Yeah. Within a short time, it okay. stepped up to five yeah. days a week. There you go. It was a trial period and then they liked me and I liked the place and I really did want to be here. They said, would you like three days? And I did. And. Um, just got more responsibilities. So they gave me a full-time job. What's this? That's pretty. Kids love her. And they're in wheelchairs, she's in a wheelchair, so I think they connect really well with her. And she's a great role model for them too. Because they can see the things that Anna can do, and that can have a very positive effect for the students. What's that? It's meh. Milk. Anna feels she's made it over a major life hurdle. But her family says the process should have been a lot smoother. Triangle. You know, there are government agencies who are doing no more than ticking the boxes. There are people in those agencies who may well be well-meaning people who simply don't know how to untie the binding knots of bureaucracy that are around their hands. After work, Anna enjoys catching up with friends and socialising. The big difference now is she has work stories to tell. More to talk about. Yeah. I have something to talk about. It's really good, yeah. Anna's uh, definitely changed the way she feels about herself because beforehand I think she uh, lacked uh, an overall sense of purpose and now she has that. She feels she's doing something of value, which is true. Anna has this advice for other young people looking for work. Find every avenue and if someone says that you, you should do this but you really don't want to, say that. Don't just, you know, say, oh, OK, just to please them. Because, like, it's not fun being in a job you don't like. Focus on and also let them know from the word go, look, I know I'm in a wheelchair, but I can do this, the, that, the other thing. And then they go, oh, yeah, I reckon you can. And tell them, you know, look, I'll ha I'm happy to do a trial period so that you can see what I can and can't do. And I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be happy, as happy as I am if I had just gone, oh, whatever, I'll Never gonna get a job.